Hi, Bethany Beavis here from Cretech. Excited that you'll be exhibiting with us at our first virtual conference on July 27th through the 30th. I know you have a lot of questions about your booth and how to set it up and what a booth looks like. So I want to take you on a little tour of our expo hall. So I've created a test environment for me to show you a few of the features of our virtual event. The platform we're using is called Hopin. You could check them out at hopin, H-O-P-I-N dot T-O. And if you go to backslash events, you can actually join a bunch of free events. People are putting on events and it's a great way for you to get comfortable with the functionality and just peek around. Um, but so this is kind of the welcome page and you can see there's quite a few different options of places people can navigate to when they're in the event and the event is live. But the place we're gonna explore today is the Expo Hall. So I've created two booths for our properties, Cretech and Future PropTech. The booths will come in three different sizes depending on your level of support. You don't need to resize any of the images. Um, everything will, will shrink down. Um, the logo you upload uh, will fit into a box this size. I do recommend if you have a stack style logo like we do to use that. Um, since it's so small, I do think it's to, to make sure you don't use them, the logos with like a tagline um, that's small, small written because you won't be able to see it. Um, you'll have an uh, image that you can upload for the background of just your uh, booth card. Um, you'll see that there's a little bit of a transparency on it. So if you have a dark image like we have here, it's not going to be as bright. The future prop tech booth just looks a little bit more vibrant. So when you're choosing a, a, an image, choose something with a little bit of brightness. The next feature is the company name. You can see that we will um, respect any special spacing or capitalization like we have in our name. And then the next piece is the company headline. Um, this will also appear inside the booth. So just a quick little hook to get people to enter your booth. So we enter our booth. The biggest feature of the booth is a, uh, a window that launches a video. Um, we recommend that you have some sort of a product demo, an interview, something that people can digest and start the conversation with you in the chat. Over here is just some information about the company. Uh, again, the logo, it's the same logo that we pull from the, the front card. So you'll, again, you'll have the same proportions. The company again, a name, again, the same spacing, that company headline, a link out to your Twitter, a link to a company website, uh, if you want to do a tracking link, make sure you use the tracking link in the company website field in the forum, not the company do domain. And then a short little description um, that goes here, um, just a, a few sentences. You can see it only shows a, a, a portion of it, so it really makes sure you put the most important information up front. Now you have the option of doing an event offer if you want to do 10% off or, or, you know, for, or, you know, a 30 day free trial, just some sort of promo, not it's optional. You do not have to do it. Thing, the call to action, you have two options and this one right here the contact us. This will automatically, when someone does this, it will automatically email me as our booth contact uh, with just a, a very simple note that says, you know, so-and-so is interested in finding out more and it gives them their email address so you can find out more. A couple of other uh, things to see in, in the booth. This is the chat. You can toggle between the full event global chat or the booth chat. So you can actually use the, the event chat to come visit my booth. And that will be in, a global, in, a, in the global chat. And then when you're in the booth, if people have questions, I'm interested. and you can have a conversation. You can also click on this person and you will, if it wasn't myself, it'd have the option to start a video call. So you can correct, directly start video call, uh, chatting with people within your booth. So let's head back to the expo hall and take a look at the future prop booth. Similar features, you can see just a couple different um, ways it's put together. This is, this is the biggest difference here. If you don't want to do that register interest button or contact us button, you can do the visit our website and it would launch whatever page you'd like them to launch. It could be a capture, a lead capture page. It could just be their website. So keep that in mind um, in the register interest section of the sponsor form. 
those are the two options. If you want to visit a website to launch a new website, or if you wanted to trigger an email directly to the booth contact, um, we recommend that you may want to use like a support at email box. If you don't want to clutter your inbox, um, you don't have to. Um, so the email address you provide in the sponsor form will be the email address that goes to the, the contact us form. I hope seeing the booth has answered a few of your questions. Um, and I've been getting a couple of the same questions, though I thought I addressed them now. And the biggest question we get is, do we have to be in our booth, in our booth for all four days? And the answer is, you don't. Um, I think it's wise just to have a tab open. And, and so you can see as people enter your booth, if you want to start a conversation, I think it's like anything where as much as you work it. So you can be using the network feature to drive people to your booth. You could be using, you could be in the chat, engaging with people and drawing people into your booth. And you can also just use the, the, there'll be a list of just everyone who's at the event and you can start a conversation, start a chat with them there. So it's kind of like as much as you use it, as much time as you put in, you'll probably get more out just like a traditional booth. Um, but you do not have to send, spend the entire time in the booth. We will have one hour of dedicated expo time every day. It's at noon Eastern time. Um, so our recommendation is try to just carve out at least that hour to, to be on. You should hopefully see an uptick in traffic during that hour every single day. Um, so yeah, we, you don't have to be in your booth. You could be doing other things, but you know, it'd be good to be on uh, just kind of engaging with people who, who are already there. Well, I hope that's helpful. And of course, if you have any questions, you can email me at Bethany at Cretech. Um, I can actually do one-on-one -on -one demos. Um, we plan to do the week before the event, kind of a test expo experience where we would have all of your demos created, or excuse me, all of your booths created, and you can go in and actually play around, get comfortable with the functionality, see how everything looks, and if there's any last minute changes you want to make, um, you can make them then. So look out for some information, a calendar right for that. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, you know how to get in touch with me. Thanks. Bye.